Hey everyone, welcome back to another prop tutorial video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make this 3D printed captain skull from the game Sea of Thieves. The first thing to do is print the skull. I did it all in one piece on my Creality Ender 3. I will link the file in the description. After it finished printing, I trimmed and filed all the rough areas. For the next step, make sure that you have gloves and you're in a well ventilated area cover the entire skull in some sort of filler. I used Bondo glazing and spot putty. You might have noticed that I changed gloves here. That's because the Bondo ate right through my other gloves. So make sure that you have good gloves for this part. You can use a hobby knife to get the putty in between all the small crevices like the teeth. When the Bondo is fully dry, Go ahead and sand the whole thing. You might have to use a needle file for parts of it. Before you prime it, wipe all the dust off so the primer can stick. Next, you can give it a light coat of primer. You will most likely have spots that are still rough, so just put more Bondo putty on it and wait for it to dry. Sand the whole thing again using a higher grit sandpaper this time. Wipe all the dust off, give it another coat of primer, and now it's time to paint. I started with a base coat of white. All the paints I use for this are acrylic paints except for the gold paint. I mixed a bone color and painted the whole skull with it. I switched to a smaller brush and put on a couple coats of gray paint on all the barnacles. Next, I taped off all of the areas that were not going to be gold. After that, I gave it a couple coats of gold paint then comes the fun part of taking off all of the tape. The gold paint got through some of the spaces in the tape, leaving a weird texture behind, so I sanded those spaces and painted them. Next, I made a wash by mixing water and paint together. Using this will make the skull look very worn and dirty. I used a brush to apply it to the skull, then wiped it off with a paper towel. Doing this leaves behind dirty marks, especially in all of the recesses. Here, I made the mistake of putting on another wash before the last coat was dry. When I tried to wipe it off, it took the last coat right with it. When it dried, I went back and put on another coat of wash to make it look better. When I had finished with the washes, I started dry brushing the skull. Doing this gave all of the raised areas and edges a highlighted effect. Using a light gray color, I also dry brushed the barnacles. The final step is putting on the leather straps. Super glue works really well for this.
Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, also let me know in the comments and I will gladly answer them. I had a lot of fun with this and I hope you did too. I'll see you later.